<laughs> Miss Braxton, how you doing this morning? I'm doing great. Good Thank morning. you. Good morning. Yeah, you, you hear your boyfriend on there. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, family. How you doing? I love you. I'm doing good. Love you. <laughs> now, now, Ricky, you missed it. Mama Braxton was just talking about her homemade biscuits. Now, if we could combine oh, wow. Mama yes. Braxton's biscuits with Ricky's dumplings, I think, we, I think we got a situation. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot of calories. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, all right, y'all. We're just going to get right to it now. because Okay, now, Mama Braxton, we all know that, honey, it's a hard time for you right now because you're experiencing um, one of your daughters, um, Tamar, and her um, husband, Vince, experiencing or uh, going through a turbulent divorce. Yeah. Now, you you said that, you, that it, it really is bothering you. It bo- it's bothering So tell us, what's what's really going on now? Because, you know, the president said that Vince was an abusive guy toward um, Tamar. And I got you experience seeing this or what have you. So talk to us, what's happening with Tamar and Vince at this time? I think Vincent is a bully. I'm just being honest. Mm-hmm. You know, um, fighting and cursing and call- name-calling And what bothers me is the baby is right there in the midst of it. Little Logan? Little Logan. Of course, when when you're violent like that, Mm -hmm. you don't think about, oh, I better not do this because my child may see this. Mm -hmm. You know, you're just angry. And so you're acting out a behavior. Mm -hmm. And sadly enough, the behavior that he's acting out on is on Tamar. Really? And I'm just afraid that he may hit her the wrong way, push her, and kill her. Mm. Right. Let's keep it real. Over 12,000 women are abused and killed every year. Oh, I, you I do not want Tamar right. to be a part of that statistic. I just don't. Understand, and, yeah. and any of you that's sitting here that have sisters or brothers, because men are abused also. Yeah. Not right. just women, but men also. Yeah. It just so happens that it's happening in my family. Mm-hmm. Now and how, it's devastating. Now, how long has this been going on, to it's, your knowledge? It's been going on a long time. Mm-hmm. A long time. So wh- The girls alluded to it. It was ignored, you know, and... Um, was always said, that's not true. No, he's not. That's not true. But yet your eyes are black. Yet you have bruises on your shoulders. <sighs> yet you're always ending up in the hospital with blood clots. Come on. Ooh. So, Ms. Branson, tell me this wow. now. How is Tamar feeling about all of this? Because with you talking, doing this here, have y'all spoken to one another? Oh, yes. Matter of fact, Tamar's at my house right now. Oh, okay. Well, good. that then. concern, you know. Oh, but Tamar's in denial. Right. She's in denial because I think women that are abused are always in denial. Mm-hmm. They always think, oh, he's not bad. Oh, it's okay. He's going to change. Mm-hmm. He didn't hurt me because they're hiding it from the public. And especially when you're in the eyes of the public. Yeah. You're living in a fishbowl, for right. God's sakes. But even a fish get killed. Caught and killed for God's sakes. Right. So we are not exempt from any of that. We are not exempt from abuse. Women in general are just, and you know, I love women because I'm a woman. Right. Mm -hmm. We're kind of weak minded when it comes to love. That is so true. You know, we we pass the idea of being in love and we become being in fool. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? Yeah, like I mean, you're you're blind to you're blind yeah, to everything. You're blind to everything. So, do you think Tamar and Vince will reconcile? You know what? That's up to them. But I feel this: if he does not go and get counseling mm. or get help, then I don't think that's a good idea. Has he ever tried? I don't think so. Has it right. been a family intervention? I don't know. Because we we saw on the show, you know, that he doesn't have a mother and father or parents anymore. Oh. So maybe, you know, maybe if the family gets together and tries to help him. But it's kind of hard go, sometimes go get to the, get, get the help. I, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Because he doesn't have a mother or father, that does not give him the right. No offense. No, no, no you're right. You're My right. mom and dad. They're dead, too, No, what but I, I'm not going to fight you. No, I, I understand, but what I was saying is maybe all of your family could get together and take him or do an intervention for him like they do on the intervention like yeah. TV show. You, not saying it's an excuse at right, all, Mom, at right. all, because it's but, not. But you fail to understand. We have embraced him. Right. 
We loved him. So yes, that's ma'am. like a son. We have been, yes, yes ma'am. for many years. We have been there for him when he became ill and was in the hospital. Yes, ma'am. We caught the first thing smoking. We all was there at the hospital. Matter of fact, we stayed at a hotel in one room. Wow. Sleeping on the floor, just waiting and, and listening and running back and praying back and forth to the hospital. What else can we do? So now, Miss Evelyn, now I see I read in the press now um, where you alleged that Vincent blamed Tamar's mouth for her being abused. Now, isn't that in that sad? No, that's yeah. that's wrong. Yeah, isn't it's, that it's, it's sad? no excuse. No yes, excuse. no excuse. You mean to tell me she's forty years darn old and she can't talk? Right. She can't say what she wants to say. She's nobody's. She's my child. Right. She's not his child. What you going to do, beat her into submissiveness? Oof. That doesn't make sense. Nobody beating him into submissiveness. And it seems like such a double-edged sword because, like, you know, so much of her career is tied up, you know, a little bit with, you know, Vince's involvement, if I'm not mistaken, right? Isn't that a shame? Yeah, yeah but no career is worth her life. It's no, not. Not that's that. true. And the reason why I said, isn't that a shame? Because there's no outlet. Right. There's no outlet. Constantly involved. 24 hours a day. That's a lot. So being frustrated, you know, you take it out on the wrong person. Yeah. Right. But Ben has always been a bully. I'm just keeping it real. Really? Mm. This is nothing new. And Tamar has been in denial for many years. Now, she probably will be very upset with me. But you know what? As long as she is alive, I can deal with it. Yeah. Right. So, Ms. Because Brax, so Mama Brax, I don't mean to cut you off. So what about, okay, so now and we read in the press also that they were experiencing financial problems. You think maybe it was because of the financial problems that he's probably yeah, he's stressed out? Well, well, there haven't been that, any financial problems um, all these many years, for God's sakes. I just said, you know, the man, hands, has just been happy. Oh, how about that? Mm-hmm. So their financial problems, I don't know. But he need to keep his hands to himself and stop being a darn bully. Oh, did I say darn? I said darn bully. Because right. Right. I'm tired of watching it. Ugh. I'm tired of hiding it. Ugh. I'm tired of crying on my pillow, praying, 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 and seem like, have you confronted him directly? I was getting ready to say, yes. has he said anything? Yes. Well, Mom, it's our mouth. It's our mouth. What? Oof. That doesn't give you the right. Right. That doesn't give you the right. And I'm going to tell you one thing. When he gets upset like that, I am afraid for the baby. Very much so. Very much so. It's more than I can, that I could say, but I won't. How about that? That's fine. On a happy note, how's Tony and um, Birdman? I guess they're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm trying to deal with this. Right. right. If you're happy, you know, then hey, thank God. Look at God. Right. But I'm right. trying to deal with this right now. Well, we was trying but I to guess just, they're doing good. We were trying to just put it on a slightly lighter note. Right. How's my Trina? Trina's doing Trina B. And Tawanda's know. doing great in the play. Oh, my God. Who yes. can she play sure that is. game. Yep. Now y'all know some old lady that woke up thinking she listening to Tavis Smiley. <laughs> <laughs> We thank you so much for stopping and by. And we love you. And we wish you a happy Oh, so now you guys want to get rid of me. No. Oh, we don't oh, want oh, you to go oh, nowhere. Oh, we got to pay these okay. bills, honey. The commercials got to come up. Yeah, me and Brad on freestyle. You know about that, honey. Braxton Family Values. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Braxton Family. Don't forget to watch that in yeah. December. That's right. Yes. All right, um, the Kahlua today, y'all, is one of my favorite Kahlua. The Kahlua today, Mama Braxton, today is um, Founders Day for the Omegas, the, the Q-Dolls. Yes. Today is their Founders Day, so my Kahlua today is purple and gold in honor of them. Oh. And you know, Ricky happens to be a q Oh, okay. <laughs> well, my purple is in honor of battered women. Domestic women. Okay. And that's, you know. that's good. We'll and be, we, we love you and we thank yeah. you for we coming. You and we're going to keep praying for Tamar. And we just hope that uh, she can resolve or get in, in a better situation or get right. away from the situation and thank get you. somebody who is not like that towards Girl. her. Nobody deserves that. You're absolutely right. Thank you. You're yeah. so wonderful. Thank you, guys. You're thank welcome. you so much for being here. I don't know what to do. Now. I don't, well, you don't have to cry about it. It'll be all yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Gary with the T. Gary. You a fool, man.